cat, I'm proud of you. Remember the days when you held my hand skipping up the steps to your kindergarten class. The years have passed and you have grown to become a beautiful young woman, hard working, full of honour, integrity and faith. May you always have walls for the wind, a roof for the rain, tea beside the fire, laughter to cheer you, those you love, near you, and all that your heart might desire. Bless you both. As you and Peter bring up, build a home together, may your foundation be upon God. May the sun shine upon you, bringing blessing upon your days. May your home be as safe as a castle, where you know you're valued, understood and protected. Where love, faithfulness, kindness, gentleness and hope are in the air that you breathe. May God bless you both this day and always. Peter and Kat, I feel like the Father is saying that he's delighted in your devotion to him. I believe he's saying that there's a powerful love between you two because you have kept the love of Jesus at the center of your relationship. That's something that cannot be faked. It cannot be given, it cannot be taken away when you keep Jesus' love at the center. relationship has been more amazing than I could have dreamed, but it's not been without its challenges. You know, just four months after we started dating, Kat went on her year abroad, and we spent a considerable amount of time long distance, and then uh, a year after we'd been reunited, uh, Covid hit and we had to social distance from each other. Uh, we spent our date nights in my freezing cold garage and Kat's front porch. Yeah. To the extent that one of the taglines for our relationship has been absence makes the heart grow fonder and while uh, the wait has not always been easy it has always been worth it <laughs>